Hey there guys, Eagles Guy here, and today we're back for the second installment in our new series that I like to call Switch Busters, where I take facts about the Nintendo Switch and other myths that I've heard about the Nintendo Switch and put them to the test. Today, the myth that we're going to be testing is what exactly is the power of this console? I've heard that it is around the power of a, uh, between an Xbox 360 and an Xbox One. So the best way, obviously, to test this is to look at game trailers and see exactly how they hold up. First, let's take a look at the trees in Pokemon Sword and Shield. It looks like they came out of the N64 days. If the world-renowned optimizers at Game Freak couldn't get Pokemon to look graphically impressive, then the system is obviously garbage and completely underpowered compared to the Xbox 360. Now, let's look at Monster Hunter Rise. It has good graphics, right? Well, if we regress that to the average Switch game that you can find on the eShop, it would look downright awful, making this console comparatively weak. And you may ask yourself, what about the Switch running games like The Witcher 3? <laughs> More like The Witcher P, am I right guys? <laughs> Nintendo Switch Online only brings games from the NES and Super Nintendo to the Switch as well. Nintendo obviously wouldn't do this just so they could charge full price for decades old ports, now would they? It must be because the Switch can only handle emulating those systems. That's why I'm going to have to rate this rumor as false. I would say that, you know, adjusting for inflation, that it's probably around the power of a Game Boy Color. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little preview into the graphical fidelity of the Nintendo Switch. Uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, be sure to subscribe, you know, all the YouTuber stuff. Anyways, see ya, I'll leave some videos at the end of the video to see if you like them.